Hey yo, what's up guys? It's Skulls, back here with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get all eight pumpkins in the new Fort Nightmares creative hub. And also, how to make the lightning strike from the sky and uh, take your like little screenshot uh, and like just find all the Easter eggs. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first one guys, if you go right in here, it's just like to the left of this map right here. You go in here first pumpkin right there and then uh, if you go to the exact opposite side right next to this map right here there should be one right yep right in here and the next one guys if you go right down into this well yeah uh, you, you have to go through this little hole right here and then if all right, yeah, you break that cobweb, and there should be one right there. And then if y'all keep running and running and running, and then you go up these stairs right here at the end of the tunnel. Then you go up here, and if you go behind these bookshelves, there should be a pumpkin right there. If, if you open this door, if you go to the left right here, then you have to do some parkour. I'll just go ahead and do it real quick. All right, guys. So if you do this parkour right here, and then you go up here, you get this pumpkin right up here. You just have to do uh, parkour. It's not too, too hard, uh, but yeah. All right, guys, and the next one, if you go right through here, uh, you you see this big church, and if you go right in between, right in these doors, there should be this green thing right here. You have the emo in it, and then it should open a gate right back here. Okay, and then whenever you go out here, there should be a pumpkin right there that you can go ahead and collect for yourself. <clears throat> All right, and then the next one is a little bit tricky. Basically, if you come down here, uh, if I can find my way, all right, if you come down here, there should be a pumpkin right here, but it's locked up and it should say use the key. And I'm about to show you how to get the key. Okay guys, so the key should be right here. If you just break this like cement area right here, then you take the dungeon key. And then if you come right back down here, and you make a left way. Place pretty confusing. <laughs> if, you, if you go this way, you should be able to open it and get the pumpkin. All right, guys, and then if you come back right to this uh, grave where you got the key from, if you look right up, right diagonally from it, behind this big like gravestone, there should be a pumpkin right back there, and that should be all of your pumpkins. Now let's get into the second part. Okay, so basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in here and it should say you open the castle, yep. And then it says this, uh, but it also says, it also says, now find the special item, play the world's first team gun fright map to find it. And that map should be right down here. If you come like right down, if you go down the stairs and then go to the right, there should be a map right here and it's basically like, it's just a Zone Wars map. Um, and you find the Easter eggs. So right here, it says, you have to find two hints on this map. The first one is in the mansion level and the second one is in the castle level. This map contains two different levels, the mansion and the castle. Each one of them contains a hint. So if I go ahead and start the game, it should spawn you in this area. And for the first map, it should it should show you, it should bring you to the mansion. Or actually no, it, it, it sends you to either one. It sends you to, um, it sends you to either one, I guess. Um, and then if you go down here. All right guys, so if you find this big like gate thing behind it, it should say, hub special Easter egg, step number two. After completing step number one, use an email on the wooden beam at the cathedral tower on the hub and watch out for a lightning strike. 
uh, find the step one in the mansion level on this map first. So if we go ahead and die. All right, and then if you're lucky enough, it should spawn you on the mansion where the second Easter egg, where the second part of this Easter egg is. All right, so good thing that we spawned on the mansion. So if you guys spawn in the same uh, area that I did, I'm pretty sure every spawn area looks the same, so it's, you're gonna have to go searching for a little bit. Uh, and if you go right through here, if you look right here, it says, investigate the corpse at the shrine on the hub. Now find step number two, which we just did, level uh, on this map. So, if we go back to hub, all right, so if we go back to hub, if you, go, if you turn around right here, you should see like this big area right here. If you look right here, you, you sh uh, there should pop up with an investigate button. You click on that. And then you will want to run over back, you wanna run back over to the, tur to the church. Uh, Cause that's how you get the second part. And then if you emote right here, you have to open up that again. And then all you have to do is just run up these stairs. And it said dance on a wooden beam. So if we run up here, this is where the wooden beam should be. And then if you emote right here, lightning should start coming down and it should open up a hole. And if you go ahead and just glide over there. And then you go down this big hole that opened up. And that's how you do it, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video and enjoy the rest of all my other content, uh, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your days, and peace.